I mean, because what's wrong with going fast and maybe getting invited to SEMA one day? A guy can have dreams, right? Hello everyone, what's up? Alright guys, so we just finished rebuilding the front end on this car. Um, all new control arms, steering components, rebuilding the strut assemblies, all of that good stuff. But now we're going to put the brakes on. What I'm focused on today and what I'm excited about are these. Brake backing plates. Now these will help keep the front brakes cool, um, especially for racing applications. They basically mount like that and feed cold air to the brakes to keep the brakes cool when you're putting a lot of braking pressure on. You know, the brakes heat up and it's not good for the brakes. You could actually have uh, brake failure. So anyway, we've got these. Um, it's a real race car part. So I'm excited about putting it on this car. And uh, yeah, let's tackle this business. Now this first part's easy. We just put this uh, backing plate in place and bolt it on. Now if you were doing this um, from scratch, you'd have to remove the old dust shield, but I've already removed it. But we're using the same two of the same holes from the dust shield, the top one and the forward one. Now I'm going to let you in on a little secret. So the ducting is round. The old intakes are square. So how do you make round fit in a square? I mean, you could stretch it, you could tape it, you could do all that stuff. But, little uh, homework online. Ace is the place for me. This is not paid. I was just channeling my inner John Madden. You remember those old commercials? Hey, Ace is the place for me. Ace is the place. Anyway, I went to a couple of home improvement stores locally who will not be named because they did not have what I needed. But, I found it at Ace. Now, this is a downspout adapter. The part number is 0364AA, Alpha Alpha. Or, you can search for 0969423006050. They're about five bucks a piece. It is a three inch by 3.25 inch by two and a half inch downspout adapter. It's used for, you know, downspouts in your house or plumbing applications. But what better plumbing than cooling your brakes? So, fits into the three inch pipe and it fits on to the stock intake port. All we've got to do to prep these for the tubing is cut off these little tabs. Now the tube slips over there very easily and we'll put a um, stainless steel clamp. I like to use stainless steel wherever I can because it doesn't rust. I'm tired of rust. First we're going to put this on the car. Perfect fit. Now we're going to go ahead and tape this in place. I know once I made fun of using tape on cars. But it seems like the right thing to do. Okay, so a 
apparently this is not the way to do this. I messed up. I thought I was done yesterday. Um, and then I thought about it and I put a wheel on here, turned the wheel, and I don't have enough clearance. So we're going to have to back this out of here and route it around uh, through here. We live and learn. We're going to do this right. We're going to just keep trying. So, um, let's do it. We're going to drill a hole here and here. Okay, so what I have to do first is mark where I'm going to drill my hole. And I think I want it right there in there okay we're gonna drill a hole there and we're gonna drill a hole there a three inch hole to fit this ducting got it So in case you were wondering, I'm using a 3 inch hole saw. This one's by Spider. Plenty of other people make them. It's overkill for this job probably, but it made nice clean cuts. Obviously on the first two, I didn't do it quite right. So what I would recommend if you're going to do this is pop the hole saw off. Drill your pilot hole first because once it catches and this catches, it kind of gets nasty. Drill your pilot hole. Drop that on and then do a nice clean hole cut. Even if it's overkill, I could have probably done this with a utility knife, but I wanted it clean. What I've always been going for on this car and both my cars is this mix of like track and show. Um, I mean, because what's wrong with going fast and maybe getting invited to SEMA one day? A guy can have dreams, right? So that's the plan. Fast car, but built really well, pretty and the details are right. So, we drill a nice, perfect hole. All right, let's put this together. There, now I'm done. Pretty trick little installation. Didn't take too much time. Just had to think about it a little bit more. Um, kind of looked like it was supposed to be there from the factory. So, I think it looks good. Happy with how it came out. I'm kind of deciding what to do with this hole here. 
that's the old vent for the, you know, the stock vent. Do I block it or do I leave it open? I think I'm going to block it. Anyway, this is installed. Um, looks good. We got wheel studs, rebuilt calipers, stainless steel lines, new fitting up here, control arm steering links, um, sway bar, sway bar links, reinforced and powder coated subframe, and brake backing plates with custom ducting. This front end is awesome. Um, super happy with how it came out. Totally worth all the time and investment. I could not have done this though without the help of Condor Speed Shop and eeuroparts.com. They provided a lot of the parts that I, I needed to get this done. So thank you to those two companies. Yeah man, front is done. You know, it's all things that nobody really sees unless you're looking for it. But I'm out of words man. It's just going to make this car better. Function over form. But form is important too. That's why we did the details right there. Leave that front cover on. Protect all the stuff that I've invested in underneath. And it looks trick. So I'm happy with it. This is kind of why I bought the E30, to be honest with you. I mean, it was a cheap car. Very cheap. I got a good deal on it because I had some rust and the paint job sucked. But I've got that E46 M3, which I think is a beautiful car, even though it's got high miles. Um, it's a beautiful car, and I didn't want to mess it up by jacking things up, whether, whether that was putting in the roll cage, building a switch panel, or even putting in the brake backing plates. If you remember, I got a front bumper for the M3, and the reason was I wanted to put something like this in. But it's nice to practice on this first, you know, cutting things up, learning all about the car, how I want to route things, and how I want to do things before I mess up a more expensive car. Does that make sense? You might think it's silly. It's just how I roll. Anyway, we're done with the front end. Time to start on the back. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you soon.